This is what has been trending in Kenya. President Ruto has said that by December, Kenyans will transact and also identify themselves using their iris and their fingerprints. And Andrew Kibe wins an award in South Africa as the Social Media African Star of the Year. What was interesting in that category is that Andrew Kibe was going against people like William Last. Bro, Kibe is a beast. A Kenyan phone manufacturing company has been set up in Ati River. The phone will retail at Kenyan shillings 7,500. Do you think the phone will be worth it? Netizens are doubting that Hamisa Mobeto's kid is actually Diamond Platinum's. There were rumors that Hamisa Mobeto is going to do a DNA. This was her answer after she was asked. So it's true that Unataka will take uh, yeah, DNA? DNA. Bye. Oh. The rule is ask a woman anything, but don't ask her about a DNA. Pom tako sana bure, but bono wana kasirikanga wa kiulizo DNA. Kama mtu anajua na sema ukweli, why? Why would you, why would you be angry? Telegraph Jones has been sharing pictures and videos of the home that he is building somewhere in Nairobi. And now, netizens kama kawaida na wivu are claiming that the house looks like an office or a level 4 hospital. You may notice Kenyan celebrities work on a pressure ya kujenga. First it was Mulamua, then it was this guy by the name of uh, Marwa, and then now we have Calligraph Jones with this uh, so-called level 4 hospital. <laughs> now, and pressure ingine nyiko kwa these social media streets. It's pressure of doing a rorashio. I have noticed it with a couple of celebrities. First it was Diana and Bahati, then it was Terence Creative, and then on Saturday it was Mulamua, who apparently wedded his bestie bestie. <laughs> and thus giving weight to the saying that bestie bestie then you may notice in that video that that bestie bestie ni kama akona ball so in short kalamua kanakuja <laughs> see it a guy has come out claiming that he is willy possessed twin <laughs> call him william chaff <laughs> until next time guys peace out